Well, for years, the city of Jackson's been losing an untold amount of money because of broken parking meters in downtown Jackson. Now, city leaders hope to fix that with brand new touchscreen kiosks. But as 12 News' Marie Minifield reports, these new kiosks are getting a mixed response. Little black kiosks are scattered around downtown Jackson, a new reminder that parking is no longer free. Though it's an added cost, some see it as a sign of progress in the right direction for the city. I think they're a great addition to the city. Um, it also helped bring in, if it's correct, and bring in more revenue. I'm all for it. Anything that's going to help to uplift and up, upgrade the city of Jackson, we need that. Um, I, you know, I, I don't usually come downtown and use the, the parking meters very often, but I, I am in, in support of actually putting some of these meters in place where we can, uh, it, it's, it's a way of just contributing again to the, uh, the uh, activities of government. Cost for parking is $1 an hour. But despite the new rule that went into effect May 1st, people were seen parking without paying. Some feel it's another way the city is trying to pinch people's pockets. I absolutely disagree with it because, um, you know, Jackson, you have to pay a lot of taxes here. <laughs> you got to pay for your tag. You got to pay your property taxes. And I feel like that, that should be enough reimbursement to the, to the cause. <laughs> That's how I feel personally. Um, I get it, though, but I disagree with it. And with more money at the city of Jackson's disposal, people say they want to see it put to good use. I think the money should go uh, the infrastructure, uh, potholes, and then from there I'll let that money filter all the way down and take care of a lot of other necessities in the city of Jackson or in the state of Mississippi if necessary. I, I think it's a good way to, um, to sort of collect uh, additional revenue that could help support some of the infrastructure or some of the uh, you know different kinds of needs that the city might have. So that's, that's one way of doing it. There is a two-week grace period, but the Jackson Police Department and meter managing company, SP Plus, will enforce the new requirement. In Jackson, Marie Minifield, 12 News.